A key driver of gender inequality in the workplace is that women take more time out from employment for caring responsibilities such as childcare. We wondered whether there were ways to support men who wanted to get more involved with caring for their young families. We wanted to see whether a particular factor was holding men back from taking more parental leave around the birth of a child, the fear of judgment from their peers. Sometimes people believe they know what others think about a certain topic and they behave accordingly, but they can be mistaken. This concept is known as pluralistic ignorance. This could be tackled by providing information on true social norms. If men knew, for example, that their peers supported men taking time out for caring responsibilities, they might be more likely to do so themselves. We worked with Santander UK and a second global bank to investigate whether men's assumptions about their peer group were holding them back from taking parental leave. First, we ran a survey to get a clear picture of attitudes to men taking parental leave. Then, we compared this to what men thought others' attitudes were. At both organisations, men thought their colleagues were less supportive of them taking leave than was actually the case. So what happens if you correct people's assumptions about what their peers think? We tested this with 2,000 men at Santander, where men were taking four weeks of parental leave on average. When men received a message saying that their male colleagues would encourage them to take family leave, it led to a significant increase in their intention to take between five to eight weeks of parental leave, compared to those who received no such message. At the same time, we also saw an unintentional decrease in the number of men intending to take more than 16 weeks of parental leave. We think the message used had focused people too much on the five-week value. With the second bank, we tried slightly different feedback. This time, the rate of men intending to take parental leave between five to eight weeks increased by 50%, and there was no significant reduction in the number of men who intended to take longer leave. When becoming a dad, it was really important to me to spend as much time as possible with my son in those early months. I was supported by my manager at Santander to take shared parental leave. I took eight weeks of this when my son was first born and a further eight weeks after his first birthday when my partner had returned to work. This really helped me to develop that strong bond with my son, which is so valuable. I cherish the additional time I spent at home with him and that connection and sense of routine we built together in that time. I'm so grateful that my manager encouraged me to do this and that Santander supports colleagues to do so. I encourage all men to consider spending more time at home after the birth of a new child. It's something that there's much more support for than people realise. Sharing the support for men to take longer parental leave is an effective, low-cost way that organisations can take to reduce their gender pay gap. Want to find out how you can improve equality in your workplace? Check out the full research report, blogs and other research projects that are part of the Gender and Behavioural Insights programme at www.bi.team and on gov.uk.